Yo, what's going on, Census here, and uh, before I wanted to talk about what, what I wanted to talk about in this commentary here, let me introduce to you the gameplay as I normally do. So, uh, the game here that I'm bringing you guys here is a 116 kill game, and the domination match here, it was a, around a good 8.5 minutes, well, in actual game time. I don't count from the start of the game and then the uh, ending of the game I'm talking about, like, the time that you're actually playing and moving around or doing whatever in the game and that was probably about for uh eight and a half minutes like eight minutes 20 seconds whatever it was somewhere around there so uh, that was pretty good but anyways um the topic that i'm going to be talking about today in this commentary is how they get better at call of duty as a whole overall and uh, uh, before i get into some of the major tips, I've obviously got to uh, describe to you guys the basics of COD and everything involved in there. Like, and uh, you guys got to learn the basics first before you learn the advanced stuff. Like, and then not just in Call of Duty, but in anything else that takes skill, like any other game or uh, sport, wh whatever it may be. Uh, the first tip that I can really give you is how the how much time you should invest in the game itself so the, the amount of time you really want to invest in this game in my personal opinion you, you probably want to play for about maybe four to six hours a day for um at least five to six days a week uh for a two to four month period because with that amount of time that you've invested into the game you'll you'll pick up some things along the way you'll know more stuff and you'll be better familiar with the game so uh, that's my first tip so the second tip that I'm gonna be giving you guys well the second basic tip at least is move around the map more like every time I play I always see people just sitting in one spot or sitting in the corner and you know what that tells me that tells me that you're a pretty incompetent player if you're just gonna stand there or just sit there and not do anything you're just gonna yeah that you're just gonna sit in the corner hoping that someone passes by you to get one kill and what you're probably gonna like die 12 times maybe so i i don't approve of sitting uh in a useless spot and a low tra and when i'm talking about people just sitting down uh or standing whatever being non-mobile i'm trying to say i'm I'm talking about them being non-mobile in a uh, non-active or a low-traffic area because when players t tend to do that, that kind of gets annoying and, and plus they're never going to improve at all because the way you want to improve is you want to move around the map more. You want to, and by moving around the map more, um, yeah, when you're moving around the map, you're studying it better, you're being more familiar with it and it, and this goes back to the amount of time investing in, into the game like the more time you play obviously the more you you'll become accustomed to the game itself and if you move around the map or maps whichever one you're playing uh, you'll be better familiarized with uh, the map faster than you just sitting down in a random corner just hoping someone passes by but uh, yeah those are all the beginner tips that I can really give you guys. Uh, yeah, those are the two most important begin beginner tips that you guys need to know if you want to at least start off in COD. So, uh, moving on to the more advanced tips, uh, and this is a tip that I think not many commentators or if not any commentators at all have ever mentioned before, and that's how the... Uh, aim at a guy better and uh, develop her reflexes better so this is the way I do it alright so when you see a target or when you're looking at an enemy like you want to keep your eyes focused on the target itself like like for instance if you're seeing a guy if and if you're seeing him moving you want to look directly at him and you want to follow where he's going and where he's moving and the next thing that you want to do this is pretty critical here you want to fixate your crosshairs or your sights or your uh, hip fire spread, whatever. You want to hip fire. Uh, wow. Uh, you want to affi affixate that uh, towards the 
a target that you're looking and following. Like you're in this case, what I'm trying to say is that you're uh, using your eyes to um look at the target and see where he's going. Well, obviously, and you're uh, using your thumbs uh, and your y yeah, you're using your thumbs to control your aim and the uh lock on the t to the target and the you're and what you're trying to accomplish here is you want to uh yeah when you're aiming at a guy you want to uh aim at the crosshair directly where you're looking at and which in this case is at the target that you're trying to kill and eventually when you keep on doing this over and over again like at first it's uh you'll you might not be used to it but like i was saying the more and more you keep on doing it the better you'll get at, at yeah, the better you'll get, and you'll eventually uh, adapt to it, and you'll develop better hand-eye coordination doing this, so uh, that's a really good tip that I can give when it comes to aiming at a guy and trying to kill him. Uh, another really good advanced tip that I can give you guys is uh, knowing your spawn points, and like, like I was saying earlier in the video here uh, was increasing your uh, awareness of the map or the maps that you're playing like and by the way I recommend trying to learn every single map out there whether if you're playing Modern Warfare 3 or if you're playing any other Call of Duty because uh, they're they're all pretty similar to each other and they all have the same concepts in my opinion um, but yeah like I was saying earlier in the video about yeah increasing your awareness about, about the maps you and familiarizing yourself with them this is another key point in which you need to familiarize with the maps that you're playing and those are the spawn points of the map of or maps that you're playing and if you know spawn points then you will easily know traffic patterns and all of that the, everything else will come into play really easy if you know spawns like uh, and the, the best game mode the really know spawns well and whether if you're playing anything this one game mode here will teach you the spawns pretty well and that's domination here and I like playing domination in particular because it's really easy to predict the spawns because uh, the spawn points that the enemy will have is affiliated with the flag that they have so let's say on village here for instance let's say they have the C spawn they're only gonna be spawning in a few places they're either gonna be spawning on top of the flag um, on the one edge of the flag that they have or in that back corner where the um, tanker bunker is or what whatever that not moving uh, vehicle is in the back and they'll be spawning under those um huts too so yeah those are the main spawns at the sea flag and i could talk about spawns all day if i wanted to but uh yeah i don't have enough time so and by the way the video ended here unfortunately like even though i didn't cover everything i wanted to cover those are uh, some of the m more important tips that you guys need to know if you want to improve your game more. Uh, I think in the, another commentary I'll discuss it, uh, yeah, discuss it more. So I'll talk to you guys later, and peace out.